In this lesson, we're going to learn about comparing expressions. We might have the expression this, like this right here. And with this expression right here, 54 divided by 3 plus 5 minus 2 times 6, we'd have to follow the order of operations to be able to solve that. I know that 54 divided by 3 is 18. And then so I would have 18 plus 5 minus 2 times 6. And then I'm going to go ahead and evaluate the 2 times 6 right now as well to get 12. Because of my order of operations, I work with those divisions and multiplication problems first from left to right. At this point, I work with my addition and subtraction problems also from left to right. So 18 plus 5 is 23 minus 12, which is 11. So I have this, all of this right here. 54 divided by 3 plus 5 minus 2 times 6, which evaluates to 11. Now if I had to compare this with another expression, I'd have to solve that expression unless that expression just happened to be one single number. In which case, I could just compare them right away. And again, when I'm comparing, I'm going to go ahead and use these symbols right here. The greater than sign or the less than sign is greater than, is less than, is how they're read. I could even have an equal sign if those values happen to be equal. It can be an inequality. That's if it was greater than or less than, or it could be an equality. I see a problem right here. I have 38 minus 7, and I'm comparing it with 25 plus 3. What I'm going to do is I'm going to carefully evaluate on both sides. Oh, 25 plus 3 has a value of 28. 38 minus 7 has a value of 31, so I show my work there. And I know that 31 is bigger than 28, so that 38 minus 7 is greater than 25 plus 3. So all I needed to do was to evaluate both of those sides there, and then just compare what it is that I have evaluated each of those expressions to. So it's very similar to evaluating expressions. Comparing expressions is very similar to that. For this problem here, much the same way, I follow my order of operations, 80 divided by 2 first, which is 40, times 4, which is 160. Oh, and then I know that 8 times 9 is 72, so that 160 is greater than 72. Now, if I had figured this out wrong, if I had accidentally done 2 times 4 first, I would have evaluated this as 80 divided by 8, which is 10. And at that point, I wouldn't have said, oh, I would have come up with the wrong sign. You must follow the order of operations when you are evaluating those expressions. All right, I've written down three problems for you to try. Go ahead and evaluate the expressions on each side of that equality or inequality, as the case may be and put in that sign. Go ahead and hit pause so that you can go ahead and work on these problems. Here we go. 30 divided by 2 was 15 and 3 times 5 is 15 so you should have had an equal sign. Give yourself a pat on the back if you got that one there correct. 14 minus 2 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6. You had to do the multiplication first, and then 14 minus 6 is 8. So we're comparing 8 with 20 plus 3 times 2. And in this case here, 20 plus 6 evaluates to 26. So you better put in a less than sign there. Did you evaluate this correct to 8? 60 divided by 3 plus 2. We have to do the 60 divided by 3 first, which is 20 plus 2, which is 22. The other side of the equation, 40 minus 22. Again, if you need to write things up and down to be able to solve them, then go ahead and do so, and do what it is that you need to do to get the correct answer. <laughs> and after all of that, I didn't even come up with the correct answer. 10 minus 2 is 8. 
40 minus 22 is 18. So that 22 is bigger than 18. 22 is greater than 18. So that we had this whole expression, 60 divided by 3 plus 2 is greater than 40 minus 22. It's hard to see just by looking at those expressions, but if you take the time to evaluate them, it is very easy to compare them. I'm going to leave you with one last problem, 86 minus 57. There, we do our parentheses first. This is a little bit different in that we had parentheses. 7 minus 5 is 2, so 86 minus 57 is 29. 29 doubled is 58. I'm comparing that with 8 plus 2, which is 10, times 6, which is 60. So 58 is less than 60. And that's how we compare expressions.